this is a lot of stars. Yep, 3,000 solar systems. And 5,000 confirmed planets already. Um, our galaxies. It's so full of surprises. Here is the famous Trappist-1 system. Okay, this might not be some of the closest ones to our but. At least, these are some exoplanets. Trappist-1 is actually quite strange, because it has many planets. Three of them in the habitable zone. At least according to this set. Okay, maybe D, too. First is Trappist 1B. I do not believe it looks like this. It looks like a gas giant, and that's what says it's a potentially rocky world. Like, so are they saying this, ha this plant has a really big atmosphere or something? Next up is Trappist 1C. <gasps> okay, seems like it's never on. Also, potentially rocker. Rocky larger dinner. This, this one's. D is a rocky world outside our solar system. Yep, this one seems to be a little smaller than Earth. Everyone, yeah, so it seems to be a little smaller. Next up is E. A rock, it's another rocky road outside our solar system that isn't quite as big as Earth, as it seems like. Hmm. It looks like this one could be a pretty good candidate for aliens. Can comment which plants you think would be good for for looking for aliens and which and which planets you think think could could be these which uh, which plants could be visited by men hand missions make one the first exoplanets or the first. Come if it's one the first, or or the very if you think it's the very first or one the first. Okay, yeah. Next up is F. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Antarctica in the spring. Can well you can you please comment if this planet kind of reminds you of. An Arctic in the spring. I mean, an Arctic. Oh, I cheats breaking heart. Comment if you think so. Remember, all this is hypothetical. Well, at least their looks. So they might not be. Real. Next up is D. Hmm, seems like this. Looks like this one has hardly any land. Except for maybe those streaks around the top. Tell me if you think those small little blue spots are water. Those little things over here. Tell me if the rivers, lakes, 
potential small oceans that are mostly hidden below the surface, or whatever you think. Or you can tell me if this is like a Europa world where there's water hiding below its surface. Just instead of pretty much not it peeking out, some of it's peeking out. Comment if it's like you know, so. Next up is H. Comment if this world reminds you of your Europa. Will you please comment if this kind of reminds you of Europa? <clears throat> oh yeah, if you haven't seen, <clears throat> if you don't know what Europa is, I'll happily show you in the end of the video. This is the first system we've looked at. Next up is Ross 128, which is only 11 light years from Earth. <clears throat> Seems like in a long time, this one, this star will actually be closer than Proxima Centauri. But that's probably way past. And by way past, I mean like hundreds, thousands, millions. I mean hundreds of thousands, millions of times a human life. Life span, so I think this one's probably not going. So, this one is probably going to be closer to the Proxima Satori to us sometime, but probably not at any time soon. It has seems like it seems like it has only one world a potentially rocky world larger than Earth. Oh yeah, if you don't know where the moon's gone, I know. But I know probably. Do you know? Because well, I think NASA just doesn't add an exo moon for some reason. Like the plants or cells which are added. Nice. I've heard this one before. Next up is HD He Free He One Six Seven. Which seems quite which actually looks which actually seems quite strange because I selected the one like meaning meaning miny mo and I just came up with a free star world Even a G type star just like our sun Oh gosh I never expected that Tell me if you did expect it to be like this or if you even heard about this song. Seems like first up is B. A potentially rocky world larger than Earth. Next up is C. Seems like it's a Neptune like ice giant planet. And next up is D, which is actually closer than C. It's another Neptune-like ice giant planet. Wow. They actually go into order discovered, probably. I like it themselves. The order from your star. How 
reality, this one also has three planets and is an unknown type. It looks like a three type to me. Whatever that is, B. Seems like a rocky road outside our solar system. Also, their thing is probably definitely. They're probably rocky, so maybe. I don't know. This is potentially rocky world. Larger than Earth. Next up is D. Oh, seems like it looks the same. A potentially rocky world larger than Earth. Now. Let's show you our solar system and what Europa is, if you have been heard about it. This is probably the section for your learning. I only have six fifteen minutes max, so I think I'm probably gonna have to so I'm probably gonna have to hurry up. Literally. Hurry up to show you. So, I'm going to pause for a moment. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back in a week. Hmm. Now let's go to Jupiter. Yep, it's the moon of Jupiter. Let's go to it. Now see, it's four moons. No, 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 it doesn't actually have four moons. It actually has way more. Just, these are the four major ones that aren't really asteroids. See the second one? That's Europa. It's ice. It looks icy. Okay, maybe that photo might remind me, but this photo. Uh, they might think they might need to replace that. Let's compare its size. To the moon, it's just as. Only like 200 kilometers small. Almost that's in my room. Next up is Phobos. Yeah, it's really small. It's only 14 kilometers. Our Europa is literally the smallest of our radiant moons. Not just some sort of asteroid like Phobos, which is orbiting Mars. Next up is Ceres. Okay, it's still smaller than Europa. Next up is Io. Just a little larger. That means also a little larger. Callisto, also. It's a lot of this. Titan, Pluto, Sharon, and even Mercury. No, no, no. I was saying the name of that. I don't know. I don't know. I was just. Thank you, the name. Yep. They're literally adding a whole full grown planet to you. Something. I. Yeah. It's. I think it's actually pretty good for you. Now, seriously, I got in this video now by. Uh, I don't know why I done it. See ya.